distance, one of the objects or moons probably following Venus that you can see in the center of the screen there well enough to see it following. It's bright enough for me to capture it, and it's the only thing that I'm capturing that's close to it. But yeah, pretty odd. And this is what I was seeing, is um, these patches moving around, whether it be windstorms. So I'm thinking these are definitely windstorms that we could see, or massive winds. I mean, we hear of it. Storms, the gases, right? I don't know. It's just, it's odd. And I've never seen them there before um, on the surface. Here, I'm using a tinted glass, a regular tinted glass over it, just to be able to show it to you a bit more how apparent those spots were and traveling over the surface and quickly and I got it in the video and I don't understand it. Venus is very gassy. There's always storms on the surface. It's hard to see, they say. It's very hard to see for us. But some of these pictures sometimes do expose other things and I like looking on the outer limits of all the planets and I find that you get a lot of detail sometimes when depending on where the planet itself is in its orbit consideration to the sun of course you know how much light you're getting on the surface and everything but there's always a beautiful view of uh, the surface of venus even though there is a lot of gases i still appreciate seeing what it permits me to get once in a while i get some nice images and it's by accumulating all these photos that you'll uh, be able to get some well nice we have here venus but look at beside venus the size and stature of this sucker right here can you see it it's very faint it's an asteroid or as they call it small planets but you can see the circumference of it in consideration to Venus and of course hold on this is much closer obviously this is why I'm telling everyone why I said that it's much closer this to earth than the, the moon and it could be in our orbit because Venus here it's not even comparable it would be, it would be Three times the size of Venus? No, I highly doubt that three times the size of Venus, we'd see it make shadows over Earth here. But this is when it was in conjunction with the moon at the beginning of January. And you see it here, pretty, pretty, pretty big. And again, that purplish hue, but of course I was getting a light. As the moon is purple too, because I, I enhanced it, right? This is, photo was ridiculously enhanced actually, and it even took Venus out of uh, and context. of course, enhanced as heck. <laughs> that asteroid here with Venus. You can see a lot clearer here. And the moon. Yeah. That is the night that I saw these round circles on planet Venus. Well, it's the night that we saw this uh, in the sky. That I was able to spot this in my photos. And it's pretty big. Well, the, they would call um, an either small planet or asteroid is the name that uh, the term science gives them. And here was Mars over top. They were all aligned. So we had Mars aligned with the moon and, and then Venus followed. And here's just a quick shot. Well, you can see here that this is planet Mars that is right there on the top here. And you can see the moon down here. Again, the same day that, uh, that we spotted that small planet or asteroid. So being no way a professional, and of course, again, it's enhanced, so don't try to see it. I was trying to look for asteroids in these photos, so I was, I was enhancing the heck out of them. The moon here, we can see it there. We can see Venus down here, and we can see Mars up there. So, I don't know, I'm not a professional, but could these, every time there's a conjunction or something, it pulls it. it I mean, it, is it pulling the asteroid? Was, was that attracted by... Um, the alignment, all three of them together, here in different angles. So, and it was pretty clear that night, so, you know. And me, guys, I don't know if you see all this light in the bottom of the picture here. I have a humongous tower with three big million candle spotlights, okay, that are, are aimed on all my street here. So, it's, it's hard for me to get the moon when it's there. Usually, I get on the other side, it's darker and stuff, but still... Just, you know, Mars, the moon, and Venus. There again. Now, that day that they were aligned, that week, I think two or three days preceding, um, China was talking about, at 
2009 ES on the news. I found it really coincidental that asteroids could be seen in, in um, the sky in my pictures the week that there was asteroids um, detected. And a big one, 2009 ES was supposed to be disastrous and not many people were bragging about it. Now here we can see it again. Okay, so I'm going to show you quickly. These are all the photos that I gathered with the asteroid in it. I promised I'd post them again. I got lots of people that were asking me to post them. So no problem, guys. Before we zoom in, down here, I don't know if you can see my hand. I know it's dark. Venus is down here by the chimney, the red chimney here. This is the moon, overexposed, okay? We understand it's just the, this is the crescent moon, guys. It's just blasted over, overly exposed and they got lights everywhere. Here's the asteroid right there. So let's zoom into the asteroid. It's right here to see if we can see it a bit better. This was my, uh, the photo where it was a lot more There it evident. is, guys. You can see the asteroid right here and how close it is in consideration to the moon as from what we're seeing here. And Venus is uh, pretty astonishing down there, to find so. that in the sky during the alignment uh, in conjunction of Mars and Venus and the moon. It was just this odd light. It was circling all around me <laughs> very fast. And listen, I did get a small part of the footage. Venus is the second brightest natural object in the sky. It is sometimes referred to as the morning star. One day on Venus is longer than one year. planet Venus and its surface. The temperature is 864 degrees Fahrenheit. The average temperature on Venus is 462 degrees Celsius. Temperature changes slightly while it travels through the atmosphere. It grows cooler farther away from the surface. Lead would most definitely melt on the surface of the planet where the temperature is around 872 degrees Fahrenheit. 